Hello, this is Mike with NoStressMike.com. I want to talk a little bit about manners. Manners with guns. Uh, guns do kill people. It really is. And uh, But what it is, it's the way people handle the, the different firearms. If you uh, listen to the stuff that I teach, uh, everything I'm into is self-defense, uh, except for the three-man militia, and I'll, I specify a little more about how to use firearms in uh, the three-man militia type stuff. But in general, especially for self-defense, uh, wh the way you handle a firearm uh, will really make a big difference. Okay, uh, now, uh, You'll always see me at my best behavior when I'm carrying a gun. Uh, that's, uh, you have to. Uh, if you're acting stupid, uh, you're offending people, you're acting obnoxious, uh, you're looking for trouble, and you're promoting the idea that um, something bad is going to happen. Now, I'll tell you, uh, uh, that's not beyond me. I've done that before too, uh, and I've, I've talked about before in other videos. Uh, I've disarmed, and then after I've disarmed, then I will get into somebody's face. I will act obnoxious. I will talk bad about their mother, and I don't even know their mother. And uh, but I'll say things and do things that are really inappropriate. And uh, but I only do that once I'm unarmed. Because, uh, like I say, then I am uh, promoting a man-to-man -man, uh, confrontation where we can settle this situation, you know, with, um, it will be with violence, uh, but it will be, uh, be uh, non-lethal violence. And uh, so, but when you're using a firearm, just by showing it uh, tells people things. Now, you got to remember... Uh, uh, now when they say guns kill people, well, you can get a whole bunch of policemen together, a whole bunch of military people together, and they're all carrying their guns and all this kind of stuff. Nobody gets shot. So, uh, it's, so it's not really the guns, it's the mannerism that you use these firearms with. Now, uh, just like uh, everything else, when uh, if the policeman feels like... Uh, uh, you may be a threat, then he will pull out his firearm. Now, when I, I teach, but that's not self-defense. Now, what I teach for self-defense is you don't show your firearm. And then when it is time to use it, then you use it. Because it gets complicated. Once you pull the firearm out and everybody sees it, then the situation could get kind of sticky. And once that happens, is it self-defense? We're right back to I focus on self-defense because self-defense in my world is so much easier. And I, I can look, uh, I can look, well, when I had my wife, I could look my wife in the eyes and say I did what I had to do because uh, my wife was probably next to God to me. So uh, if I could convince her, uh, that means, you know, my God would, would be okay with it. And if I could do all that, then I could do the same thing with the judge, and whatever happens, happens. Uh, I did the right thing, and you go like that. So, so like I say, so when you're bringing out your firearm, uh, you, you shouldn't bring it out. Now, if you are in the situations where you are going to use, such as a three-man militia and this type of stuff, you're right back to you never point your firearm just like police do and uh, military now they're doing rules of war in which it's different from when I was in when I was in we used to kill anybody we could see but um, uh, now what they as long as you don't point your gun at them then in their minds they're you're not a threat not until you point the gun and I basically I'm not scared of guns I'm more concerned about the idiot that's holding it and like I say, to me, if, if I think that idiot is going to point at me, then we have a problem. And then I get in position 
where, uh, like I say, I'm not going to point mine, but I'll get in a position where I can uh, use mine if necessary. Because, like I say, if he does point it at me, you know, I'm going to try to convince him he doesn't want to do that. Uh, but just like in the convenience store robbery I was in, uh, I was at lost of words to uh, tell the street gang that, you know, I didn't want to hurt them. <laughs> I mean, after all, they had the weapons, so they thought uh, they had all control of the situation. But they weren't using good manners, and they were pointing their weapon in the wrong place. So uh, that's why I say use manners when you're carrying a firearm whether it's open carry or uh, if it's concealed carry you always use good manners and I've always said good manners is, is a way to get around <laughs>